Thanks, Nate. Governor Cuomo saying ventilators are in short supply, especially in hard hit New York State. Now hospitals are modifying the devices to serve two patients at once. In his daily briefing Thursday, the governor said the experimental protocol with two sets of tubes connected to one machine, not ideal, but necessary. Cuomo said he expects up to 30,000 ventilators to be needed in New York in the coming weeks. The split ventilation protocol was developed at New York Presbyterian Hospital and approved by the State Department of Health. Joining me now to weigh in on this is Dr. Jeanette Neshwat. Thank you for joining me. First question, is this a good idea, splitting the ventilator, having two patients at once? In an emergency last resort situation where you have no other option, it's worth a try. Um, I actually was reading a study that came out in 2006 from the American Academy of Emergency Medicine, where they simulated using a ventilator for four people, and it worked, but only for a limited time. And those people, those dummy people, they obviously weren't real people, they right. had to have been of the same, same, approximately the same age, approximately the same weight. Um, you can't have like a 21-year-old hooked up with, a, with an 80-year-old because the lung volumes, the capacity oh, is different, and it would be more effective for one person and not so much for another. But this study showed that it worked for a limited time. So desperate times call for desperate measures. Um, so if we have to do that, then it's worth a try. On the model that the governor's talking about, 30,000 people, that would mean 3 million people are going to be infected in New York in the next couple of weeks. That sounds outrageous and very unrealistic. But we need to prepare for worst case scenario. Our governor here in New York is saying that we need approximately 30,000 ventilators. So we're, within a week, we've met the need halfway. So we're halfway there. And remember, this is just preparation for surge capacity. Well, they wouldn't be enough if the doomsday scenario comes true. But at this moment, we do have enough to service the patients we have. Thank you, Doc. Good to talk to you. Thank you, Bill.